Hey there, Crosspoint, it's Rob here, and uh, I wanna talk to you about an exciting change that's happening this fall through Crosspoint, and I wanna invite you to join with us in making room for changed lives. Uh, on Sunday, October the 20th, we are going to be moving to two Sunday morning gatherings. Uh, previously, we had met 10, 10.30 a.m., but now we are gonna be meeting at instead at 9 a.m. and 11 o'clock a.m. Uh, starting in the fall. And uh, there are many reasons why we're making this change. One of the major reasons is we've just seen such incredible growth and such incredible life transformation in many people's lives uh, through Crosspoint. Uh, since last fall, we've seen five people at least make first time commitments to Christ. We've seen about 18 people rededicate their lives to Christ. And those are just the people who've let us know about it. They've actually filled in forms and said, this is what's happened in our lives. We're confident that so many other lives have been transformed. Our, our Sunday peak attendance has gone from about 200 people at, at our peak times to over 300 people on, on certain Sundays. So we are beginning to maximize this space. Uh, in addition to that, we're also uh, beginning to see uh, a thriving student ministry where our children's ministry uh, downstairs is overflowing. Uh, so we are just delighted to see people come to receive Christ, uh, to grow as followers of Jesus and to be used by God to make a difference in the world. Uh, and that's our heartbeat. And that's the primary reason why we wanna do this and why we wanna make room for changed lives. The second reason why we wanna do this is because we are just running out of room. You know, in here, in our, in our worship auditorium, our worship center on a Sunday morning, uh, we're getting pretty full. It's, we're starting to see the space filled up. And uh, of course, we wanna make room for more people to come in here, but more importantly, we wanna make room for people uh, downstairs in our children's space. Uh, we are well beyond capacity. Uh, and in our parking space, uh, in, in this parking lot, in the parking lot across the street, we're also well beyond capacity. People are parking in streets and whatnot. So we are very, very full. And so we wanna make room for people to be able to come and be part of our faith community, to grow together as disciples, Primarily, though, we want to make room for the emerging generation, for the next generation uh, in, our, in our space. You know, launching a second gathering is a big undertaking. And it's only possible when God's people believe in it and get behind it and say, we want to make it happen together. And, and so I want to invite you to consider uh, what part you might play in helping us launch this second gathering. And, and let me suggest three things to you. Uh, first, let me suggest prayer. Would you pray with us? Would you pray that God's Spirit would move in our Sunday morning gatherings as He has in the past and even in, in greater measure uh, that we might see lives surrendered and transformed by His Spirit's power, not only here in our upstairs space, but also below in our kids' ministry? Um, would you pray that God would help us to live holy, sanctified lives, surrendered to Him, and that He would give us boldness and courageous, uh, courage in, in demonstrating and declaring the gospel where we live, where we work, where we recreate, within our families, but that God would give us the courage to share the gospel and be faithful witnesses. But second, would you, would you consider also giving to Crosspoint? It's just understandable that by launching a second gathering and, and continuing to grow, that we're gonna need more resources to be able to help people live transformed lives. And so we, we want to uh, increase our resources in our, in our ministries and in our programming, but we also are gonna see an increase in staffing in order to make some of these things happen. And so with that, we wanna ask you to consider, is there a way that you can faithfully give more to Crosspoint? You know, maybe you're already a, a regular donor, at Crosspoint, would you consider digging deeper and uh, and uh, prayerfully just considering maybe there's something more that I can give, or or maybe you've given to Crosspoint in the past, but but you're not a you're not a regular giver. Would you consider that? Would you consider um, bringing a regular tithe to our faith community that we might see lives transformed? Uh, for the kingdom. Hey, we, we believe that the greatest investment we can ever make in this life is to invest towards God's kingdom because the results of that investment have eternal implications. So, so that's the second way that uh, you could consider being part of this. But, but, but finally, would you consider serving with us? Uh, by doubling our services, we are going to double the number of volunteer opportunities uh, through Crosspoint. So we have opportunities in our kids ministry downstairs, opportunities in our front line, in our technical arts, in our, in our music ministries, uh, in baristas, ushers and greeters. There's so many opportunities that are going to be available to us. Uh, would you consider uh, maybe 
signing up to be in one of those roles. Or, or maybe you, like so many other people, have said, you know what, I'm going to be here for the first gathering. I'm going to extend it into the second gathering and serve in that way also. But we need people, and we're asking the Lord of Harvest, the Lord of the Harvest, to send out volunteers here at Crosspoint so that we can make this happen. So maybe for you, maybe you haven't served in the past, and we hope that you'll discover the reward of what it means to follow Jesus in obedience and to serve alongside others and serve the body of Christ. And uh, maybe this is an opportunity for you to do that. Hey, we are excited about what God is going to be doing in us and through us, uh, both now and in the fall. And so I just want to invite you to consider how it is that uh, you can join with us in helping to make room for changed lives. Thanks for uh, just taking the time to watch this video. And let me remind you of who you are. You are the people of God. You're following God in his redemptive mission in the world. So be who you are. Thanks for watching.